Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to our channel once again. Today's video request is how to use Bulk Create in Canva. So let's learn what Bulk Create is and how to use it in today's video. So what is Bulk Create? It's a useful tool in Canva that'll allow you to create content in just a few minutes. And not just a content, but a lot of content. So say for example, we're trying to create a bunch of motivational quote posts for our Instagram page. So here on our homepage, we're gonna go to the search bar and type in Instagram post. And in my case, I'm gonna select um, the square format. And yeah, you can actually not just use Instagram posts, but other designs as well. Other social media posts, um, YouTube shorts, YouTube thumbnail, YouTube videos, or anything like that. And you'll still be able to use Bulk Create. But in this case, I'm going to use Instagram, uh, the Instagram format. And this is the templates page. We're just going to quickly look for a template that would match a motivational quote template. So how about, okay, perhaps this one would do. So we're going to click on customize this template and wait for our editing page to load up. Okay, so this is the editing page. So customize your design to make it look different from the original template. Uh, this template is just going to be kind of like a framework or the backbone of our design so that we have an idea about what we're making. But we can go ahead and change its color and change its elements if we want to. So let me just quickly do that. Uh, the reason for that is because no matter how lovely your template looks, I think it's important to tweak it to make it look different because there are other people who use the same template. So you really have to make yours unique and different from others. So yeah, we're going to do a quick edit for now. I'm just going to change the color to something else. Okay, so we're going to get started. So as for me, I'm going to go to my side panel. And as you can see, I already have the bulk create button added to my sidebar. That is because I have already used it before. But in case it's your first time to use it, then go to apps and type in bulk create and it'll appear over here. It doesn't appear here anymore because it's already been added to my sidebar. So yeah, you're just gonna have to click on it right over here. But as for me, since it's already here, I'm just gonna click on Bulk Create directly. So here we have two options, to either enter data manually or to upload a CSV file. In case you already have a CSV file or an Excel file already prepared, um, then you can go ahead and use this method. But if not, then you're going to have to enter data manually. Upload CSV is a lot easier because everything will, yeah, just be filled in depending on the data you have on your spreadsheet. But entering data manually will take time. Um, even so, we're going to click on enter data manually. And this box over here will appear. So this is the place where we're going to be um, inputting our data. So I'm just going to simply rename these. So since we're trying to create motivational quotes, this section or this column would be for the quotes. And this section or column would be for the people who said those quotes. But I'm just going to name this um, person. So say, for example, over here. We're going to input our code over here. Let me just quickly search for a simple code. Um, 
Let me just quickly Google a motivational quote. Okay, I think I found something really nice. So I'm going to type in here. Today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. And that is by... Ken Poirot. I'm not sure if I pronounced his last name correctly, but yeah, that's who he is. And this one, I'm just going to type in quote. Oh, sorry. Quotes. Here, I'm just going to type in quote to and then person two, and so on and so forth. Okay, and I think that's got to be it for now. Uh, just a very simple example. And if you like, you can actually add another column dedicated for images. So just click on add image, and this will be added here. And if you click on a cell, you'll also be able to see the plus button. But you can click on the cell and it'll automatically open this box. So this is the um, place you're, you're going to be able to insert your photos. But the only photos you, you can insert in this spreadsheet are those that are already uploaded to your um, Canva projects or those that you have already uploaded previously to Canva. If you haven't uploaded it yet, then you're going to have to go back to your homepage, go to projects, click on add new, and click on upload, and then upload your desired media or photos or images right over here. And then you can close that and then open it again. It'll appear here. But if it doesn't, then I'm afraid you're going to have to refresh it. But most of the time, it'll show up once you click on this over here. So yeah, you can put your image here in case you'd like to also incorporate images to your design. So once you're done um, filling up or inputting your data, you can scroll down and go to the bottom and click on Done. All right, so the next thing we have to do is to connect our data. So to do that, we're going to click on an element and then click on this button, click on connect data. And since this is the, the code, of course, we're going to connect the code's um, data. So we're going to choose that. We're going to click on this, connect data and person. OK, and yeah, we're going to click on continue. And we're going to click on Generate for Pages. A new tab will be opened. And all your designs will be created. And there you go. As easy as that. So by doing this, you'll be able to create your posts in no time. Create a lot of posts in no time. So you can just simply uh, tweak the colors if you want to. Um, if you want to change the color, you can turn this one into this color, for example. Change the colors to something that would suit the theme, like that. and so on and so forth. So, yeah, that's how you use the book create tool in Canva. And I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you found today's video of help somehow, and we hope you have a great day. See you in the next video.